Hey everybody, and welcome to Worth the Buck, where I'm going to take some of the most popular Dollar Tree items, test them out for you guys, and let you know if they're really worth that dollar. If you want to see what I'm reviewing today, just stay tuned. So today we're going to be testing out for you guys this little six inch hacksaw from the Dollar Tree. It's super cute, super tiny. Here it is up against my hand so you can see it does not look like a very big tool at all all but so cute you know us ladies we love those many things right anyway we're going to open this up and let my husband give it a good test for you guys and see if this is actually worth a buck all right go ahead and fill that thing out first steve and tell us what does the quality of it feel like the actual frame itself feels pretty good the handle is is plastic now this part here where the one edge of the blade sits in that's kind of a cheap design because it just goes into that crease instead of actually going into a a hole and then the screw portion to actually release the blade that's relatively cheap and getting the blade in After you get it out, that's very cheap. This part here is actually sliding back and forth, which it typically should not do. Do they even sell the replacement blades at Dollar Tree? I don't know. I don't remember seeing them. I don't know if I've seen those either, so I'm not even really sure if you can can replace those and unless they sold them in a multiple a set of multiples then it would be really one dollar you can get the whole unit over again so that I'm not real sure of so before we actually try to cut something with it based on the craftsmanship and the quality are you thinking it might be worth the dollar yet yeah, it feels pretty much like junk so I don't know if it's going to be sturdy enough to withstand actually cutting into items all right, well, let's give it a try, see what it'll do. So there it is, and the first thing he's going to try to cut through is a one-by-one one piece of wood. So let's see what it will do. A little difficult getting it started, but it's actually cutting it, guys. Look at that. It looks like from this this angle though, it looks like it's bending that blade a little bit. Does it look like that from your angle? Yep. It looks like it from his angle too. So let's just see, see if he can make it all the way through, see what happens. <laughs> well folks you saw it he did get about three quarters of the way through that piece of wood but what i am noticing it from on this side because it was actually move your hand for a second because it was bending at that blade can you guys see how the cut on that is actually like a curved cut it's not even a nice straight cut so and of course it popped right off let's see if we can dislodge it from that piece of wood and see what it did to the actual blade <laughs> you can see <laughs> where it definitely bent that blade definitely bent the blade so not e not even sure if we can get it back on let's try to get it back on and we'll see what it'll do to a piece of pvc so the problem that we have is we can't even try to put it back together to continue because it actually broke that whole little mechanism <laughs> all right mr rose so what do you think worth a buck absolutely <laughs> it's getting a huge thumbs down from us you guys save your money put it towards a better one at Lowe's or Home Depot right <laughs> <Even> Walmart <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, so we're going to hurry off out of here. We have been fighting mosquitoes all night trying to bring you guys this review. Hope you've enjoyed it. We want to thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you soon in the next video.